Just another beautiful spring day here in Florida. I had no plans this morning. I just wanted to try out a few of the new features I installed onto my custom boat build. I ran into a few problems this morning though, and the day got off to a rough start, but that didn't affect having a great day on the water. Yes, I wanted something. Now I have to keep it tight. <laughs> So my morning was going very good. I had a great breakfast. The weather is beautiful. Got over to the boat ramp. It's about a 30 minute drive from my house. And I realized that uh, I forgot my trolling motor battery, which really sucks because I use this the entire time that I'm fishing. Um, the good thing is I have my new shallow water anchor right here. So I'll probably just kind of find some of the mangroves and flats areas out here and I'll just try to anchor up and, and do some fishing. So it's still not going to be a bad day. It's still going to be a really good day. I just need to go pick up some live shrimp at first. Two dozen live shrimp. Oh no. What's going on? Two dozen live shrimp. It's just gonna be a really good day. The tide is extremely low right now. So for those of you who have noticed, the setup has changed a little bit. Other than the fact that I'm missing my trolling motor because I forgot it this morning. Well, I forgot the battery, so I just left it in the car. Um, we installed the grab bar. So this is basically like a regular aluminum pool grab bar. And it's, uh, through bolted um, there are nuts underneath and it's on there solid you know the only way it moves is uh, the aluminum right here flexes a little bit as you can see but I mean it's solid so this was the last thing I needed to do to the boat Let me uh, test out this grab bar now. See how it feels when I'm taking a little, going on a little run. It actually felt really good. I do have to say that this boat is really light and because of the flat bottom, you know, whenever I'm, I'm on plane and there's a gust of wind, um, you could definitely feel the boat like kind of like getting kind of like squirrely. Like, so you do have to be real careful if you're gonna put anything like a 15 or a 20 on this boat. You do have to be very careful when, when it's windy out and you're running around. Definitely should have your uh, kill switch on. Yeah, 
I think the stick anchor is working as designed. It's a little bit windy. I think it's like 10 miles an hour and um, current's moving pretty strong. So we'll see. Of course. That's a good size one, but it's just a catfish. Pretty decent sized catfish actually. Probably the biggest one I've caught around here. Hold on. I don't want to get pinched by you. There we go. I think I just got a bite on this. Unless they just get off. Nope, it's still on. Rosetta. Much smaller one this time. That was the biggest puffer fish I've ever seen. I guess he wasn't hooked good. I'm onto something, I have to be. Yep, I'm onto something. Now I have to keep it tight. Prior to this, I had a huge snook jump off my line, so I was I a little was bit good. disappointed. I don't even know what that is. It is pure silver. I side hooked it. It's almost like some kind of sort of barracuda. That is the weirdest fish. I've ever seen, I feel like he can turn around and bite me in two seconds, pure silver. All right, here it is, a little bit better of a view. If someone can identify it, it's about, I don't know, about 30 inches long. All right, you are going back in even though you were cut. Big as my boat. 